What is up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial video this time on how to make your own homemade trading card packs entirely by hand so no computers involved uh, and I'm going to teach you how to make a pack just like this one here. Also if you do have access to a computer and Microsoft Word or Pages or some other program like that I've got a tutorial video on how to make trading card packs on those programs in the description below. Also, if you want tips on how to make your own actual trading cards by hand, there's a video to that which I'll put in the description below as well. But for now, I'm going to teach you how to make your own handmade packs. Enjoy. Okay, so I'll just go through everything you need to make your trading card packs. So first of all, you'll need a pencil. Next up, you'll need a pen. Uh, this is kind of optional, but I find that bold black pen lines make your uh, packs look a lot better. You'll then need some kind of colouring utensils. So pencil crayons or paints will be fine, but I like to use either felt tip pens or my trusty Copic permanent markers because uh, they tend to give the boldest colour on your cards to make the pack stand out more. You'll then need um, a pair of scissors or a cutting knife. Although if you're younger, I'd probably recommend the scissors because I don't want kids to go around slicing your fingers open on trading cards. Uh, you'll also need a ruler. And then the final thing is some tape. Oh no, that's not the final thing, sorry. The final thing is of course the actual trading cards that you're going to be putting inside these packs. So I've just got some example Chaos Galaxy TCG cards which I'll be putting in my pack today. So step one and probably the most important step is measuring out the size of the packs and for this you'll need your pencil, your trading cards and your ruler. And what you're going to do is take your trading card and measure it with the ruler. Uh, you don't need to be spot on, however it does help to be more precise. So because I'm in the UK and I use the metric system, this is six and a half centimetres wide and roughly nine centimetres tall. Uh, in inches, a standard trading card is 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches. So just bear that in mind. And what you're gonna do is remember the measurements and then add a tiny distance onto them. This is so that when you make your packs, your packs will be a bit wider than your cards so the cards will just slot nicely in them. You don't want to add too much of a distance onto the width of your cards because otherwise the cards will be rattling around in the packs and I just think it looks a lot nicer if the cards just slot neatly into the packs. So 6.5 centimeters was the width of my card um, so I'll just take it probably to 7 centimeters to get the width of my packs. So what you're going to do is measure on those 7 centimeters and then draw a line so you get a nice strip of paper which is going to be the width of your packs. Okay, so the pencil doesn't show up very well on the camera, but as you can see, I've got this line going across here. And then because the paper is roughly the height of two standard sized trading cards, but well, it's a bit bigger, but that doesn't matter too much. I'm not going to cut any space off the top. All I'm going to do is make a mark halfway down my line and then draw that across the page as well. So I've got these two sections here, and then one of these sections is going to make up the front of the pack and the second section is going to make the back side of the pack. And then this brings us to step two which is drawing your design onto your pack and this is probably the most fun part as well. So I'll go, ahead, I'll go away, quickly draw a design and then come back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay so the next stage is the most fun stage in my opinion and it's drawing your designs onto your card packs. So for this you'll need a pencil, a pen and your colouring utensils and what you're going to do is draw the front of your packs so this will probably have the name of your game um, maybe a little slogan or something or a cool creature that you want on the front or the game's logo and you'll draw all that on the front side and then on the back side I like to put other information like uh, what the pack contains maybe you could draw a barcode or like a little backstory if you want uh, just get creative with it but the main thing you have to remember is the front side you need to draw all your artwork the right way up so sort of facing this way uh, as you normally would and then the back side because we'll be folding this paper in half the back side will need to be drawn upside down so just bear that in mind when you're doing it if you do it the wrong way around it's not the end of the world it'll just make the pack look a bit more messy when we cut it out later um, so yeah, remember, front side up, back side down. I'll just go away and quickly draw the packs, and I'll see what I can come up with, and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Okay, so this is what a homemade Chaos Galaxy pack looks like. Uh, I've gone for the Drangel on the front, um, and then this square here is the front side of the pack, and then the back side here, as you can see, which is upside down, is there. So, 
Um, so I'll just give you a few quick tips on uh, drawing the artwork. First of all is use lots of colour because it's this is the pack, this is what uh, people are going to see first of your cards. Um, so make it really attractive looking, lots of bold colours, not too much text, have a nice image in the middle probably. But then uh, make sure you get the information across of like what the game is and stuff. Um, so I've just got the name Chaos Galaxy uh, and then Chaos Galaxy and a bold blue and yellow background which stands out. And then on the back here I've just got the information uh, of what you get inside the packs. And then my YouTube advertising of course. So yeah, once you've done your artwork that's the end of step two. So the next step is cutting out your card pack and this requires either your scissors or your knife and ruler. Um, I'm going to use the knife and ruler because they tend to get the neatest cuts with cards. But all you're going to do is just cut a line down here. You're not going to cut this part here unless you've accidentally got one of the pack sides the wrong way around. Okay, also I've just realised something uh, which I should have probably done when I was making the packs if I was going to be clever about this. Um, if you see on here the image of Drangel here, his wing cuts off this side. And uh, because we're going to be folding the packs over like this, it would have been quite a cool idea if I'd have carried on his wing going around the back of the pack there, just make the pack a bit more 3D looking and make it flow a bit better. Um, but that's just a minor thing, it's up to you whether you bother with that kind of thing. Uh, the, the next step is kind of an optional step. If you have a photocopier or if you want to replicate quite a few copies of these packs to save time, you could scan in or photocopy this image and then print a lot of copies out so you can make uh, multiple different packs. But for the sake of this video, we'll just say we're making a one-off pack and we'll get on to the next step, which is really the final step. This isn't a very long tutorial, but you'll need obviously your pack, you'll need tape, and then you'll need the cards to go in your pack. So what we're going to do is you should have your fold, you should have your line here that you marked halfway across the page. Um, you're going to fold your pack in half along that line. Well, I haven't I haven't marked mine out too great. Uh, there's a bit of spare room here, uh, so I must have miscalculated my measurements, but that doesn't matter. Uh, what I can do is just trim off the underside of this paper. And although it might make the pack look a bit less neat, uh, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Okay, there we go. So first up is taping up the sides and this is probably one of the most difficult parts of making a card pack um, because it's quite difficult to make neat. Uh, but what you're going to do is take a piece of tape that's just a bit shorter than the height of the pack. Uh, try and make sure it's a bit shorter because otherwise it might look a bit messy if you've got long bits of tape hanging off the sides. So like this here. And now you've got two options with this. Uh, the standard option would just be to sort of cut two strips of tape like this. However, if you want to be super neat, and for the sake of this video I'll be super neat, and have as little tape going around the side of your packs as possible, uh, then you can get your tape and just slice it in half uh, to make two sort of thinner strips like this. I'll just put one to the side for now. And then what you're going to do, this is the difficult bit, is get half of your piece of tape going over the edge of your pack. This is why it's tricky. I can't get the tape off my fingers. Okay, so I think that's gone okay. So you get one piece of tape like that, and then you're going to try and fold it over as neatly as you can and stick it over to the other side, and then just do the same with the other side. So there now everything's sealed apart from one open end of either the top or bottom of the pack depending on which way around you drew the cards. Hopefully if you've done your measuring out right you'll then take your trading cards and just slide them in there nicely. And then all you've got to do now is use the rest of your tape to seal up the bottom of the pack. And there you go. Okay, so overall I, I do like this technique, it's really fun making trading card packs by hand. If you want tips, like I said, on how to make trading card packs on the computer, uh, this is in comparison as to what packs can look like, so as you can see there is a big difference. Uh, so yeah, there's a link to this tutorial in the description below. Um, but I'm going to open this pack now because we left quite a lot of room for cards to sit at the top and bottom of the packs. 
uh, it should make it a lot nicer to open and because we haven't put any tape across the top of the packs uh, the pack should rip open quite nicely so yeah this is the paper pack opening experience so the top just rips off quite nicely like that and then you have all your cards inside and I've just ruined about half an hour of work so guys, let me know what you think of this video. If you have any better techniques for making your own trading card packs by hand, I'd love to see those because it just help everyone out on YouTube. Um, but yeah, apart from that, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Get your hands on some Chaos Galaxy cards if you want. There'll be a link in the description below. And yeah, I hope this video was useful to you and I hope to see a lot more trading card packs made on YouTube.